Hi, this is a video response to the uh, uh, questions we were getting online to show some close-ups of uh, the caulk away tool actually using, uh, being used and, and showing it stripping away the old caulk. This is an all plastic tool. Uh, this is a do-it-yourselfer uh, type tool. We also have uh, those that are more durable or, or larger for uh, prolonged use. This will be just fine for doing a redo on a, on a bathroom. Um, what you've got here is you've got these wings that are flexible that allow you to get into the corner as you push in they actually flex out of the way um, you have a, a scraper on the other side this little piece here or a little hook that allows you to get in and really start to uh, you know, grab the pieces that are way inside and then I actually utilize these little wings themselves they almost act, act like little plastic putty knives um, and the reason you want plastic versus metal is that metal will scratch the surfaces or the enamel off of whatever you're working on. We've got marble and we've got tile here um, and this is just in the demo room. But you don't want to have metal on that because metal will actually scratch the enamel off, leave uh, marks and then that's a place for mold and mildew to start growing in and then it basically gets up underneath the clock and you've got the same problem you had before. So plastic is important. So utilizing this, I'll just go ahead and you put it in the corner and you start to scrape off get yourself started. See what I do with it. You can see you got pieces that are coming off pretty easy. Then I take the piece and I jam it into the corner. See how it's in the corner there? And you pull or push, I'm sorry. And that starts to strip off also. And just keep going at it, cleaning it out of the way. And then here's what I like to use these little wings for. They get in the bottoms and in the tops. You see how it's coming out of there. And you're doing all that without actually scraping uh, any metal across this and, and causing any problems with your your finished product growing more mold in it later on. You want to make sure you get all that cleaned out of there, all of it. I mean you really got to, you want this a clean surface otherwise the new caulk that you put down won't uh, seal as well and won't stick as well. So you just keep going at it and getting all that out of the corners. And then you continue all the way down what you're, what you're working on. Utilizing the other side, and it gets down deep into that corner area. And then you just come through and scrape off the rest.